Normally, I would prefer editing my pictures on this big 5K display. But since most of my photos are taken from this smartphone, I won't mind having some good photo editing apps on my Android as well. Hi there, this is me now once again and finally I'm back with another episode of Best of Apps. So in today's video we are going to see some of the best image editing apps for Android. Now just like we did in other episode of this series, we are also going to divide this video in 3 parts depending on how people use this application. So in the first part we will see best overall photo editing apps and in the second part we will see best photo apps for touch ups and finally we will see advanced image editing apps that has a feature similar to photoshop on desktop. Like always a link to the detailed article as well as all the apps used in this video will be in the description below so be sure to check that out and with that being said let's get started. So some of the best contenders for this basic photo editing apps were Snapseed, ViscoCam and Pixlr etc. All of them do the same thing and it ultimately boils down to the user interface. Now I personally prefer Snapseed since it is little more intuitive than others. So the app is powered by Google and once you open it up, you will notice the UI is divided in two parts. The first one is the basic image editing like crop, rotate, text etc. And the bottom half is filled with the filters and well there are too many of them. Another reason I pick up Snapseed over the other is, well, despite being a basic photo editing app, it can get pretty powerful. For instance, you can open a raw photos with Snapseed and alter their exposure, temperature, etc. The one thing that it don't have is stickers and ability to use layers, like you do in Photoshop. But thankfully, there is an app for that, which we will see later on. Now I don't have to tell you, but every celebrity photos that you see on the magazine covers has gone through layers of image editing and there is no reason why you should not use it. And well, with airbrush you can do exactly that. So as you open up the app, you will see two options. Either edit your old photos from the library or take a picture from the device camera. So let's go with the camera option. Now like other apps, you can also use airbrush to add real time filters on your photos, which is nice. But this is not why we are here, right? The beauty of this application is in how good it is in removing the irregularities from your face. For instance, here is the before and after photos taken from airbrush. And as you can see, it has removed the blemish, brightened up the skin tone and if you look closely, it has also reshaped the jawline. Overall, the app does works and it works pretty well. So if you take a lot of selfies for your social media handles, then airbrush is a must have tool in your arsenal. Now usually when we are talking about image editing, Photoshop is the first thing that comes in our mind, right? But guess what, this is not what happens in the Android world. Most of the image editing apps on Play Store are merely a filter application. But PixArt was only the exception I was able to find. Now instead of telling you all its feature, let me just quickly edit a photo and give you an idea of how powerful it can get. So you can see you can use layers, use a color picker tool and enjoy all the advanced editing features. And the best part is if you don't know how to do something on PixArt, you can always look up on Google or you see the tutorials from the PixArt official website. Kind of like how you do in Photoshop. Overall if there is one true alternative for Photoshop on Android, it would be PixArt. 
Well, this is all for now. To check out other episode on this series, click on this end card appearing on the screen right now. Also, let me know what are your best photo editing apps for Android in the comment section below. And yes, I'm also hiring a full-time tech writer at my Delhi office. So if you guys are interested, check out the hiring page at RDT. So that's it for now. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And until next time, thank you for watching.